morning. Your reluctance to stand is a manifested indicator of a desire muted by doubt. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, desire one. Yes. <laughs> you lit up. Mm hmm. Um, like, I feel like sometimes, like in the morning when I wake up, I'm filled with um, a lot of negative energy. Um, well, the reason for that is because you went to bed feeling exactly the same way and nothing changed while you were out of your body. Now that surprises some people because when you slumber, physical energy reemerges into non-physical. Mm -hmm. And so some would say, well, if I have been refreshed by that non-physical connection, why don't I wake up in the vibration of that? And we say, if you go to sleep out of the vortex, you're going to wake up out of the vortex. If you go to sleep in the vortex, you're going to wake up in the vortex. So it really is worth spending some time as you are putting yourself into your bed to bask yourself into your slumber in other words and you'll get better at it every night just bask do your best to appreciate yourself into slumber and so think about it in the beginning it seems that most of you make a decision that you're going to shift your vibration when something is troubling you and that's the hardest time to do it because when something's troubling you it's active in your vibration there's an interest going on so if something's active in your vibration then you feel it sometimes before a seminar Jerry and Esther will feel the energy of participants who are beginning to gather and energy is like conversation in other words when you are sensitive to energy you can feel it so as you have something going on you've been beating the drum of something in your life experience it's active in your vibration and now think about it being in the vortex means deactivating anything that is resistant in nature so a very good way to go to sleep is to meditate yourself into slumber because when you meditate you raise your vibration and right before you drift to sleep you have a very good shot at being in a higher vibration before you go to sleep so bask yourself to sleep or meditate yourself to sleep and then first thing in the morning when you awaken lie there longer and try to reclaim those things of appreciation and in the moment that it turns a little bit get right out of bed then we recommend some focus wheels Esther keeps several ideas going all the time of future focus wheels she keeps a notebook in her pocket she keeps a recorder with her when she drives and as things come up that feel a little troubling she makes a note that's something I want a focus wheel because I can feel that this vibration right now is in a interesting but troubling place and I want to move it from a troubling and interesting place to a not troubling and interesting place in other words it's so fun to move vibration on subjects once you get the hang of it you'll find yourself really interested you'll see something happen in a campground which kind of represents something that's going on economically and it gives you something to focus wheel on you'll see a father mistreating a child and it gives you something to focus wheel on you find yourself stuck in traffic when you don't want to be you find yourself yourself with something to focus wheel on so now you're awake the next morning and you bask yourself to sleep so you woke up feeling pretty good so now you've sort of got a run on it the probability of being in the vortex for a while this morning is greater than ever before just because of the small effort you made the night before mm -hmm. and thinking about it the next morning and now when you get out of bed brush your teeth and get something to eat but then take your list and go do some focus wheels you know what they are We'll do some today. We want to show you the power of the focus wheel. The focus wheel is where you focus yourself from outside the vortex into the vortex. It's where you take a current condition and you move it vibrationally to an inside the vortex position. And then from your focus wheel, go right into a list of positive aspects. And if you can, into a rampage of appreciation. And if you did that for a week full of mornings or a month full of mornings, you would shift your vibration so substantially that those hopes and dreams that you've been launching into your vortex through many, many years would now be interesting. They would be something that calls you. You would find yourself fascinated by the idea of it. If Esther is overwhelmed in a moment and Jerry suggests a new project, he is met with, you got to be kidding me. 
But if Esther is in the vortex and Jerry is in the vortex and Jerry suggests a new project, then they rise to the enthusiasm of it. In other words, they feel all of the energy of the universe come in around them, you see. We're really saying to you that we would not attempt to go through a day unless we'd made an effort to go into the vortex. We would say, go in the vortex and then call your friend. Go in the vortex and then check your email. Go into the vortex and then get in your car and drive. Get into the vortex and then have the conversation with someone meaningful. Get in the vortex and then have your sexual interaction. Get in the vortex and then order your lunch. Get in the vortex and then eat your lunch. Get in the vortex and then. Get in the vortex and then and discover how interesting and rich the in the vortex life can be, you see. Enough? All good. Thank you. So what subject would you like to do a focus wheel on? What subject do you feel yourself outside the vortex when you want to be in? Mm. Getting into the right relationship with somebody. All right. So from your outside the vortex perspective, make your statement <clears throat> from where you are. I feel, and use the negative emotion that describes it, I feel discouraged or I feel frustrated. Mm -hmm. What is it? Discouraged or frustrated? Discouraged is stronger resistance. Frustrated is lesser resistance. I'm frustrated. Mm -hmm. I feel frustrated that. Finish the sentence. I feel frustrated that. The right person isn't coming into my life. I feel frustrated that the right person isn't coming into my life. I feel discouraged that my life has helped me to carve out an image of me in a relationship that I have not been able to fulfill. Mm -hmm. How's that? Yeah. I am discouraged that my life has given me so much information about what I want in a relationship and I feel separated from that. Mm -hmm. Pretty good statement and accurate to your vibration. So a focus wheel, you draw a big circle on a piece of paper. <laughs> Clearly it's a very big piece of paper. <laughs> you draw a big circle on a piece of paper and outside the circle, you make your outside the vortex statement as we just did. I am s disappointed. I'm discouraged that I have lived so much life and identified so clearly what I want. And I feel still so far apart from the manifestation of that. Whenever you know what you don't want, you always know more clearly what you do want. In fact, the more you know what you don't want, the more you know what you do want. So the source within you, the larger part of you, stands as the holder of an inside the vortex statement that is equally wonderful on the other side of your equally not wonderful. Mm -hmm. There is an equal and proportionate desire that is known and being held by the source within you. So source, you're thinking, source is saying about my out of the vortex statement source is saying I'm exhilarated in the knowing that the relationship of my dreams that I have been creating is there and ready for my discovery you feel how easy it was to make the in the vortex statement because it was easy to make the out of the vortex statement can you feel how the opposite helps you speak it now the opposite helped you speak it, but the opposite didn't help you feel it mm -hmm. because you've been practicing the vibration outside the vortex. Is that clear? So you've stated it. So let's say it again and again in as many ways as we can. I am thrilled at the knowing. Now, doesn't that feel like the opposite of I am uncomfortable in my disappointment of not knowing? Mm -hmm. I am thrilled at the knowing that the relationship that I have created is available and ready for my discovery each time you say it doesn't it feel good just to say it yeah. doesn't it feel good just to focus there so now your vibration is shifted a little just by setting your inside the vortex goal so now you got to get on the wheel and you know how those merry-go-rounds are in the playground if they're going too fast and you try to get on they just blow you off in the bushes <laughs> so you got to slow this wheel down enough that you can get on it and the way you slow it down enough that you can get on it is not by faking what you said in the center because you don't believe that yet you want to but you don't and if you say something you don't believe it blows you off in the bushes every time mm -hmm. so you say something that you do believe that's sort of kind of like it in other words what do you already believe what do you already hold knowledge about what do you know about the vortex what do you know about your ability to create what do you know that you could use as your way to get on the wheel I am worthy to be loved off in the bushes <laughs> 
way, <laughs> way, way too strong for Thank what you're you. feeling right now. Because <laughs> if you felt worthy to be loved, you wouldn't be feeling disappointment about not finding okay. that. In other words, that was way off in the bushes. <laughs> Why up don't in you the tree, way over there. <laughs> I need your help. What do you know? In other words, are there other aspects of your life that are working for you? Yes. My work. For example. So make a statement of something you know about your ability. Now, what was the center statement? I am thrilled in the knowing of the existence of something I want and my ability to access it. So what do you know about something you want and your ability to access it? Are you a good creator? Yes. Then say it. I'm a pretty good creator. Right. Now, did she get on the wheel with that? Mm -hmm. She potentially could have if she, <laughs> if she had just made a little more effort. In other words, a little enthusiasm. I am a pretty good creator. I'm a great creator. <laughs> I'm a pretty good creator. <laughs> I'm good at this when I focus. How about that? I'm good at that when I focus. Okay. And that's why I'm doing this focus wheel. Because I'm good at it when I focus. And when I take the time to focus, I get better and better. And it's always a little shaky in the beginning. But once I get going, things go well for me. And I've been in situations before. We're going around the wheel. I've been in situations before where it started off sort of shaky. And I figured it out as I went. And I don't see why this is any different. And this vortex idea is a new concept to me. But I can feel the resonance of it. Mm -hmm. I really believe. I don't believe that all those relationships that I lived were for not I can feel that I've gotten very specific about what I want and I love the idea that it's percolating there in my vortex of creation and that all cooperative components have been assembled and I'm determined that I'm going to be one of the cooperative components in other words mm -hmm. can't you feel yourself getting more focused as you're moving around this wheel I don't have to find the person this red hot moment I'm certainly comfortable in allowing myself vibrational alignment I wouldn't want to bring someone into my experience before I I'm up to speed with my idea. I think that's the reason that I've been slowing this down so much. I've created the perfect relationship and I'm not yet a match to the perfect relationship. And I'm wise enough not to settle for something that I can feel is less than the perfect relationship. And now I can see my work is cut out for me. I'm going to do these focus wheels until it's fun to do these focus wheels. I'm going to start taking pleasure from the idea of focusing myself into alignment with who I really am. I believe that I should get what I want. I know that I can do this. I know that the universe is on my side. I can feel that law of attraction has assembled the cooperative components. I believe that my partner is waiting for me. I believe that I will recognize this person when I see him. I'm good at this. I can do this. I want to do this and I don't have to do it all right now. It's fun just to think about it. I like the unfolding of my life. I like moving into alignment with who I've become. This is going to be really fun watching the universe respond to this better way that I feel. I haven't felt this good about this relationship in a very long time. <laughs> it's going to be really fun to watch the movement that this much conversation that I've had between me and me has stirred up for me. It's going to be really fun watching what comes. I might meet my partner tomorrow and I might meet someone close tomorrow. But one thing is certain, it's on the way and it doesn't matter when it comes because it is coming. I don't have to take score every day. Is it you? Is it you? Is it you? <laughs> because when it's you, I won't be asking, is it you? When it's you, I'll be saying, it's you, it's you, it's you. And I'm looking forward to meeting that person and until then I'm happy to do this focus wheel I'm happy to get in the vortex because I believe in the power of the vortex and I believe in my ability to get in get out I'm leaving Thank All is you. well. This is really a good Thank place you. to leave this because your vibration shifted dramatically as a result. Many others too. Mm. You now understand the focus wheel in a new way, don't you? Yeah. And you now believe more in the vortex than you did before. And you now understand what your responsibility of deliberate creating is. You got to focus. You can't be limp and all over the place. You got to focus. That's why we call it a focus wheel. A focus wheel. Very good. That's it. Thank you.